During the Great Patriotic War on the territory of Ukraine, the Red Army had to resist not only the Nazi troops, but also numerous gangs of local nationalists. Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation declassified unique archive materials. On August 10, the bandits took Yelena Ponevina, a typist of the Vointorg of the Second Air Army, into the forest. There they raped her, curved stars on her arms, legs and chest, wrote Russia on her abdomen and left her tied in the forest. The Nazis did not pity Ukrainians either, they were terrorizing their own people. They often changed into Red Army's uniform. In the beginning of April 1944, a group of Banderites dressed in Red Army's uniform rushed into Puklaki village in Ternopol region and brutally tortured two local Ukrainians, Yakim Petrychenko and Stepan Panachuk. Similar cases occurred in other regions of western Ukraine. The degree of brutality and cruelty is shocking. Crimes against civilians continued after the liberation of Ukraine from the German Nazi invaders. In the middle of April, in the village of Slavskoe, bandits hanged a 14-year-old girl 800 meters from the house, and the bandits took her mother away with them and subsequently executed her. In cruelty and in human reprisals against civilians, Ukrainian nationalists are not inferior to the German Nazis. In settlements where nationalist gangs are still operating, the people are extremely intimidated and terrorized. Each time the punitive actions were more and more massive. Nationalists carried out mass extermination of the Polish Jewish population as well as Ukrainians. Arrested Banderity, Ivan Vasyuk testified that his squad attacked Polish villages where more than 1,500 people were eliminated. We will continue collecting all the evidence of war crimes committed by Ukrainian nationalists.